But let's move on to number two. The second top thing that keeps us from finding peace with food is perfectionism or being stuck in all or nothing thinking. All right, so if you think I'm an all or nothing person, I'm either all in or I'm off. I'm either hot or cold, right? I'm either doing it or I'm either on the bad wagon or I'm off. I'm either on track or I'm off. When you think in terms of on or off, when you think you have to get it just right, this actually keeps us from long-term progress. You might have short spurts of growth or of results of re releasing weight off your body, but in order for it to be long-term, in order for it to be sustainable, in order for it to be something that you just innately do because that's who you are, you cannot, re you cannot achieve long-term peaceful, right? to second nature, releasing of weight off your body with a perfectionist mindset. When you're thinking in terms of all or nothing, it creates this thought emotion loop. So let me explain further. Let me give you an example. This is a very common example of all or nothing thinking. Oh, I already messed up today. Maybe I ate a cookie. Maybe I said I wasn't going to eat any sweets today, but I ate a cookie. So I messed up. I might as well go all in and eat all the things. When you think I already messed up, I might as well go all in. Then what happens is overeating occurs or binge eating occurs. It's such an interesting thing that we think in this terms. If we were to drop our phone, would we think, oh, I already dropped it. I might as well stomp on it. No, we would pick it up. We wouldn't want to do any further damage to it, right? When it comes to our goals and how we want to interact with food, we could just say, oh, I ate a cookie. Wasn't going to eat sugar today. I forgot about that. Oh, moving forward, I'll just rest from sugar the rest of the day, right? Now, I don't tell anyone that they have to not eat sugar. That was just an example, okay? When you think all or nothing, it actually keeps you from long-term progress because when you are in a perfectionist mindset, which by the way, just someone who identifies as a perfectionist and thinks they have to do it just right, that's actually a survival response. When we're trying to be perfect, when we think we don't get what we want unless we're perfect, it actually, the end result is that we don't get what we want. And perfectionism is a survival response. We're trying to be accepted by others we're trying to avoid rejection, and we think the way we avoid rejection is by getting it just right. I had a conversation just yesterday with one of my clients, and she said, I noticed something that's come up for me. She goes, I used to think with dieting that I had to be all or nothing. And she noticed that in another part of her life that that had come up again. I have to do everything or nothing at all. But the people that are the most successful in life are the people that instead of thinking I have to do it just right, they instead think I just have to do it well enough, good enough. When you do things good enough, and what is good enough? I use something called the B standard. The B standard is I'm not going for an A, I'm going for, I do it most of the time, 80 to 90% of the time I do it. When we strive, striving is showing up imperfectly but showing up consistently, no matter how imperfectly we show up. We, as long as we continue to strive, right? That is when we get the success that we're seeking, right? Not short-term success because we've really buckled down and forced ourselves. No, from an inside out knowing that I just need to show up, right? Then it gets rid of these ideas of thinking, oh, I already messed up. I might as well go all in today, okay? That is the very thing that keeps you from finding peace with food.